Hello guys, I woke up in my house today with Emily and we kind of had a lazy morning and now we've made our way back to Emily's house but I've just left Emily because I've got to do something uh, in regards to the new job that I'm applying for. I've got to retake a test that I kind of, you know, I didn't fail the test but I need to retake the test. Um, so I'm going to do that right now and then afterwards I'm going to do a bit of Christmas shopping because I've got to buy Emily's Christmas gift. Um, and Emily's going to get a haircut and she's going to go Christmas shopping as well. I'm pretty sure she's getting my Christmas gift as well as a couple of other things. So it's weird, an afternoon on my own right now. It's really strange. Um, but yeah, I've got to get a lot of stuff done. Should be good though. It's going to feel productive. Um, it's the second official day of holidays and it feels amazing. So yeah, hoping to get a lot of stuff done and just enjoy myself. Um, I can't wait to get this test over and done with so I can relax tonight. And that's all I have to worry about for the rest of this year in regards to my new job application. After this, it'll be over and I can just enjoy myself, enjoy my Christmas, enjoy my new year and continue with the application in the new year. So I'm pretty excited to get this out of the way. I'm done with that now, I hope, because the woman that was there didn't seem to, she seemed to be new and she almost did it wrong. And had I not had it done before, I wouldn't have known. But I was able to say, aren't you supposed to do this? And she was like, wait, I'll go check with my colleague. So she went and checked and I was right. She was supposed to do what I said she was, gonna, she was supposed to do. And then only then did she fix it. And I feel like she's got to have gotten something wrong. It's really fucking annoying because this is the second time I've had to do it. And it's just a pain in the ass and a hassle. I just want all this to be over for the year so that I can focus on the new year. Um, but I guess I will find out in a couple of days, um, maybe after Christmas. I don't fucking care, but uh, I just hate it when people can't do their jobs. Probably it's like, why do they get hired if they don't know what they're doing probably? And they should always ask questions instead of going to do the wrong thing. But uh, I don't know, I shouldn't blame them for being new. But either way, hopefully it's actually done and it's out of the way and I don't have to fucking do it again. <laughs> that would be really nice. Um, anyway, I'm going to do Christmas shopping now. So excited. It's going to be awesome. Um, hopefully I can find some good stuff. I've already got in mind what I want to get for Emily, but we will see. Hopefully I can find it somewhere. I'm sure I will be able to. It's pretty common, but um, I'll, I might show you guys because Emily doesn't know my vlogging channel, so we'll see. I'm now back in the car. I have Googled um, places around here to get Emily's gift from because I'm in Emily's area and I don't know how to explain it without telling you the suburbs we live in, but we live quite, we live about 40 minutes apart driving, 35 to 40 minutes. So we live a fair way apart. Um, and I'm sort of familiar with Emily's area from, you know, from my past and living like sort of not around here, but sort of closer to here than I am now sort of thing. So I'm a bit familiar with it, but still I don't know where like the stores and stuff are. So I'm just trying to work out where to go. And I just called up the store and they said they've got what I'm going there to get. So I asked them to put it on hold for me. So all I've got to do is put the, the address in Google Maps and then I'll go and pick it up. And then pretty much all my Christmas shopping is done. Um, so I am getting her, I don't know, I'm not telling you what I'm getting her. I'm getting her a Kindle Paperwhite. It's obviously an e-reader. Um, Emily reads a lot of books and she does prefer physical book form, which most people who really love books do. However, when she travels and stuff, she generally takes an iPad to read books on because it holds more and an iPad is just not a fun experience to read a book on. I think she pretty much knows what I'm going to get her. She knows I'm going to get her the Kindle because I've had conversations and stuff. But still, I still want to get it for her. Um, and it's a really nice gift, I guess. I think. Anyway. Um, and me and my mum kind of collaborated and my mum is buying us a joint gift, like an experience, a thing to do together or something. Sorry, I'm just putting my car back in park. Um, and she also wants to give her another gift because she's got me another gift so she's going to buy Emily a Kindle um, cover like an official Kindle cover so mine's just a shitty one off eBay so Emily's gonna have a nicer one than me um, but yeah I'm going to get the Kindle now and then I'm also thinking that I might get our first photo together printed and put it in a nice frame so she can have it in her room because that way she's also getting something in there she didn't know she was getting yeah I think I might do that We'll see though. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put this address into my Google Maps and hopefully I'll be able to find my way and I'll be back with Emily soon. She is um, getting a haircut, like I said, so I'm going to miss her long, long hair. I don't know if I actually said she was getting a haircut, but she is. Anyway, I've got to edit my vlog and stuff when I get back to Emily's house, but I've got no worries now. The test is finally fucking done again and hopefully it's good. I'm, I'm fingers crossed because I'm a little, little bit nervous. I'm thinking something might go wrong, but... 
that's what I can do now. Just got to enjoy my Christmas. Um, but yeah, got to get this out of the way. And all my Christmas shopping's done because I don't buy for anyone else. I've got too big of a family. I don't want to buy for just some of them. If I can't buy for all of them, I'm not going to buy for just some of them. So yeah, hopefully crowds and stuff aren't too crazy. I'm pretty sure it's a standalone store that I'm going to, so it's not like a shopping center or anything. Um, but I am rambling, so I'm going to do that. Get it out of the way. Is there anything we can do? Nothing. Until we find out the more. And the Kindle has been acquired. Here it is. I know she'll really like it. Um, she'd never really used a uh, Kindle before. And I gave her a look at mine yesterday. She, I think she pretty much knows I'm getting it for her, like I said. But yeah, I gave her a look at mine yesterday. And it's just, it's better than you think it's going to be. You think it'll be just like reading on an iPad. But it looks a lot more like a book. Um, but yeah, can't, super excited to give this to Emily. It's going to be good. I didn't... I went to Officeworks to buy it as well, but and I was going to initially print out photos because I thought you might be able to do it via Bluetooth, but you can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck all, like, find a whole bunch of photos of us that I like, chuck them all on a USB stick, get our first photo that we took together printed out, put that in a frame, and then just give her the rest to put on, like, her pin, put on her pin board in her room. And I'll print out some copies for me as well. But oh my God, it's hot in this car. The sun's bearing right down on it, and I'm sweating. Disgusting sweat it's not disgusting but um i haven't gone for a run since my fitness test not the sunday that just passed but the sunday before that so definitely going to try to go for one tomorrow anyway i don't know what to do now because emily's still out shopping and i can't exactly go back to her house without her there so i guess i'm just gonna find something to do chill out for a while um, but we will see i think i might go get some food i feel like fast food i know it's bad for me but i feel like fast food and that's probably exactly what i'm gonna do <laughs> Yeah, it's been a really good productive day so far. I'm enjoying it. I am now done with fast food. Um, I chose Hungry Jack's, which is the Australian equivalent of Burger King. It used to be called Burger King. It got like taken over by Burger King. And then for some reason, I can't remember, I got explained, that somebody explained this to me like a couple of months ago. For some reason it changed back to Hungry Jack's. So it was Burger King for a while. Um, but anyway, I surprisingly don't feel too bad considering I just ate a whole bunch of fast food. Probably because I haven't eaten much today, but um, Emily still hasn't gone back to me, so she's still not home. And as I said, I can't just go back to her house, so I'm just gonna go and look around the shopping center that's close to her house and see what I can find. Worst comes to worst, I'll just kill some time, but yeah, we'll see what, what happens. I went shopping for a little while um, at the place, the shopping center near Emily's house. I didn't really go shopping because I didn't buy anything. Um, and it's surprisingly not busy considering Christmas is on Friday and it's Tuesday today. But like I said, it's not a really big shopping center that's notorious for people coming to to shop for like Christmas and stuff. But still, you'd think people would be getting in like last minute shopping and things like that. But apparently not. Um, so, it's about half past seven in the evening now. Still super light outside because it is summer. Fuck yes, Australia. Um, it's apparently gonna be a hot Christmas, which kind of sucks because looking like I might not be at my mum's to swim on Christmas. I'm not sure. We will see what happens. It doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it's 7.30. I'm going to head back to Em's house now and I'm probably just going to end the vlog because I won't end up doing it because her entire family is going to be home tonight. So despite the fact that I am staying at Emily's house tonight and didn't start the vlog till later in the day, I actually did a pretty good job of like filling it with lots of stuff. I'm proud of myself. Um, two days in a row I've made vlogs where... I don't know, I just put more content than usual in, so it's good, hopefully something I can keep up now that I've got my new laptop back. But yeah, that's all for today. Hopefully this um, this whole employment, my whole application thing will move forward from this point and I won't have to do this test again and hopefully I won't have to worry about it till New Year. Um, but I'm excited, I've got Emily's Kindle, pretty happy, hope she likes it, I know she will. And my mum also texted me while I was out buying it saying that she asking me if I was still getting it because she's going to buy an Emily a case for it like I mentioned. Um, so she's already bought the case. Emily's favourite colour. It's all going to work out. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.